What's up guys? I hope you all are well. Today we're on about the top five most anticipated fantasy novels that are part of a series. These are novels that we just can't wait any longer for. Subscribe to the channel if you like reading fantasy and please give us a like down below as well. The first book that we're on about here today is The Winds of Winter by George R. R. Martin. Most epic fantasy fans are familiar with George R. R. Martin and this will be a Song of Ice and Fire book six. The principal story in A Song of Ice and Fire chronicles the power struggle for the Iron Throne among the great families of Westeros after the death of King Robert. The first installment in this epic series, A Game of Thrones, was published August 1996. The most recent installment, chronologically speaking, is A Dance with Dragons, which was published way back on July 12, 2011. The hit television series inspired by the novels, A Game of Thrones, premiered in 2011 and was finished up in 2019. The world has been waiting for the winds of winter for 10 years now, and George R. R. Martin has not given us a whole lot concerning the potential publication. <laughs> 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 Not to mention, guys, this isn't even the final installment in A Song of Ice and Fire. That will come after The Winds of Winter. The final piece will be titled A Dream of Spring. It's safe to say that millions of readers are waiting on the next installment in this, what might be the greatest epic fantasy series of all time. Although Martin hasn't given us an official publication date for this, he has suggested three things recently in his online blogs. One, he's hard at work on the novel. Two, it's hundreds and hundreds of pages in length, no surprise there. And three, he suggests that it will actually drop in 2021. <laughs> Two things to say in conclusion. One, don't hold your breath on this one. We've heard it before. Two, give Martin some time. It took Stephen King 20 years to author his great fantasy epic, The Dark Tower, and the longer an artist has to work with a piece of artwork, the better it generally comes out. All we can do for now is cross our fingers. It's going to be mayhem at the bookstores when this one hits the shelves. Number two on our list is a little or big novel that will be titled The Doors of Stone by Patrick Rothfuss. The Doors of Stone will be the third and final final piece in the epic trilogy, The King Killer Chronicles. The trilogy began with The Name of the Wind back in 2007 and follows, quote, a redheaded musician and magic user in training who's searching for a shadowy group of beings that murdered his parents when he was young. The series has distinguished itself with its lyrical prose and its multi-layered fantasy world. The second installment in the series, The Wise Man's Fear, was released back in 2011 11, so just like with The Winds of Winter, we've been waiting for this one for a decade. One indicator that this is one of the world's most beloved fantasy epics is its good ratings on Goodreads. The Name of the Wind is ranked at a 4.51, and the sequel, The Wise Man's Fear, is ranked at a 4.54. The King Killer Chronicles are among the highest rated books in any system for any novel in any genre, not just fantasy. There have been many false release date reports for this one, my friends. The rumors abound. Stanford Arts Review actually recently reported that the novel would be for sale on July 8th, 2021 on the Amazon platform. People were excited about this. However, Amazon doesn't currently show that same information. We would also have expected that the author would have said something if this were true. Now, he has said recently in online interviews that the novel is coming along fine and that he does expect it to be on the market soon. All we can do is hope that we have it by the end of the year. Ranking in at number three on our list will be the long-awaited fourth installment in the Gentleman Bastard series, The Thorn of Emberlane. The Gentleman Bastard sequence follows the journey of Kemori thief Locke Lamora and his Gentleman Bastards, an aptly named band of uniquely skilled con artists. The Gentleman Bastards' games of con artistry lead to adventure, 
heartbreak and incredible achievement. Talk about a long wait. The first installment in the series, The Lies of Locke Lamora, was published in 2006. The third and most recent installment, The Republic of Thieves, was highly lauded by readers of the series and hit bookstores back in 2013. I found an excellent review of the Gentleman Bastard series online. Quote, I just finished The Republic of Thieves and am desperate for the next installment of the Gentleman Bastard series. These books are insanely smart, absurdly funny, and have so many plot twists and holy shit moments that they're basically adrenaline in novel form. Wow. In 2019, Scott Lynch reported that he had finished a rough copy of the novel, and fans reasonably assumed that it would hit the market within the next year didn't happen. Earlier this year, Goodreads gave us an expected publication time frame of October 2021. That has now been updated to August 19th, 2021. I think the fact that the expected publication actually moved up in time is a good sign, and I fully expect that we will have the Thorn of Ember Lane this year. Number four on our list will be the currently untitled fifth installment in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanders. Anderson. I am currently making my way through the Stormlight Archive for the first time. I'm in the middle of book three, Oathbringer, and I'm absolutely loving it. In a world where incredibly powerful storms frequently make their way across the land, an ancient order of magical knights are reawakened to fight the apocalypse. The Stormlight Archive is projected to be ten long books, a series of the most epic magnitude. It all starts starts with The Way of Kings, which was released in 2010. The most recent installment, Rhythm of War, Book 4, was published in 2020, so Sanderson has given us four long masterpieces in just a decade. Sanderson is actually one of the fantasy genre's most prolific authors. He produces a book just about every year, and it's especially impressive because of the size of the novels. They truly are humongous creations. The story the Stormlight Archive takes place in Sanderson's Cosmere, which is a fictional literary universe of which the Stormlight Archive is only one piece. His Mistborn trilogy is in the Cosmere as well, as are many other novels, novellas, and short stories. In fact, the Cosmere is very similar to Stephen King's Multiverse, where many different works have an influence on one another and I love it. The next installment in the Stormlight Archive is yet untitled, and we don't have a specific publication date as of yet. However, Sanderson is adamant that it will be out in 2023, and considering his prolific nature, I think that we can trust him in this respect. And finally, guys, number five on our list takes us in a slightly different direction, but epic nonetheless. This is a fantasy series with a bit of a historical twist, I'm talking about the Outlander series and the upcoming ninth installment, Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone by Diana Gabaldon. The Outlander series focuses on 20th century nurse Claire Randall, who unexpectedly time travels to 18th century Scotland and finds adventure with a Highland warrior named Jamie Fraser. As a lengthy fantasy series reader, I like to occasionally step outside of the high-end epic fantasy genre, and I think that epic historical fantasy series like Outlander or Earth's Children are perfect examples that something that isn't technically high-end epic fantasy, but that would very likely be enjoyed by someone who does like lengthy high-end epic fantasy series. That broad sense of scope and depth and background, and characters aplenty, and a huge atmosphere and sense of world building. That is all right here in the Outlander series, and I know of many high-end epic fantasy readers that absolutely love these books. It all started back in 1991 with the original Outlander novel, and Diana Gabaldon has consistently published in the series. A prequel is involved, short stories are involved, as well as eight 
and soon to be nine massive novels involved. Each one of the novels in this series has an astronomical rating on Goodreads and Amazon and everywhere else, so it's no wonder that they made a hit television series inspired by the novels that has been going strong since 2015. The most recent installment in the Outlander series was Written in My Own Heart's Blood, book number eight, which was published in 2014. I know that so many people are just yearning for this one. Town and Country Magazine report that the publication will come on November 23rd of this year. And there you have it, my friends, five highly anticipated fantasy novels that hopefully will be out soon. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below on which fantasy novel you are most looking forward to. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you enjoy reading. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'll see you next time.